We uh, had a real special interview with Martina just uh, oh, a few weeks ago down at the Ford Theater the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum. It was the first time that she had heard this song in its finished state. And you could have heard a pin drop, of course, in the theater. Her eyes got all glassy, and it was really, really heavy. She just said, so beautiful, so beautiful. You know, this was off mic while I was playing. When the recording concluded, the audience was on their feet, mm. giving this record, if you will, this song, a standing ovation. That's pretty heavy. Mm. And it's a song called An Affair to Remember. Now, you'd wanted Ray to record this song for years, but he wouldn't listen, would he? No, <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> Tell the story about this. Well, you mentioned when Peter Cooper called him, that, one the, that was one of the questions Peter asked me. And he asked me in such a way, he said, have you been instrumental in influencing the songs Ray Price has recorded all these years? Or something to that effect. And I said, well, of course not. I have not. And then all of a sudden I remembered, oh, yes, I have. This one song for 43 and a half years. And so that's, this is the song we're talking about. I have brought this song to Ray Price every time he ever had a recording session. I begged him to record this song, and each time there was some little something that he said just didn't quite fit it. And he also told me, he said, honey, I just don't think I could do that song justice. And, and he never could hear what I was hearing in my head him doing. Well, I was, as a young girl, I had gone to the movie, A Fair to Remember, with uh, Cary Grant and Anita Carr, and I had fell in love with that movie. And it's just that beautiful love story of, of, of a couple who, who just literally loved each other so much, and it had such a tragic ending during, toward the end of it, and then in the end it turned out to be the most beautiful love story that I had ever seen. And somewhere in my fantasies, I think, as a young girl, I started believing that my marriage to Ray Price had some sort of similar characteristics as that, as that movie did. And so each time I would ask him, please, please, tr please consider it. Well, this time, he did. And he and Fred had all the songs chosen, and they were down to one song. They needed one last one to make the decision on. And so I, I just heard them talking, and I thought, oh, maybe, maybe this is my chance. And so I ran, got the, I had gone and got the Vic Damone cut, and I brought it in to him, and I said, how about trying this one, one more time? Could I, could, I'm, I'm saying this to myself. And sure enough, I took it to him, and I said, honey, how about just considering this one? He looked at me, and he said, oh, man, not that one again. <laughs> and I said, well, just call Fred. Just call Fred and ask Fred what he thinks about it. And so he, he said, okay. So he called Fred on the phone, and he said, I, could, I was in the kitchen washing dishes, and I heard him say, he said, Fred, now Janie's brought this, we're looking for this one last song, and Janie has brought this to me over and over again. He said, she's just wore me out bringing it to me. And he said, I just want to run it by you, see what you think. And Fred said, well, what is it? And he said, it's an affair to remember. And I was all the way in the kitchen, and I probably can't, shouldn't say this on air, and, I, and you can bleep it out. But I, I don't know Fred, if I can now. I heard we Fred got... Foster say clearly, hell yes! And so, <laughs> and so that was how this song came to be. Well, let's give a listen to Ray Price and Martina McBride. This will definitely be a performance to remember when you hear this. It's called An Affair to Remember from the brand new project Beauty Is. Ray Price here on 650 AM WSN and WSMOnline.com. 